pleased to be here at Daytona, the 51st annual running of the, the great 24-hour race in uh, one of my favorite cars, of course, the, the Porsche 911 GT3 Cup. Daytona and the Rolex 24 is unique because it's early on in the season. Um, it's a great way to get going and, and get started, but this race is tough. It's, there's a lot of cars on the track uh, per square mile, and with that, you've got to keep the fenders on it. Um, you know, they always preach that in 24-hour racing, but certainly here, there are a lot of restarts. There's aggressive Daytona prototypes and, and a lot of GT cars, and so you really have to coexist out there, and it, it gets tough come 3 in the morning. The lineup of drivers that they got for this year's 24-hour race is really remarkable. It's, it's sort of the, the cream of the crop from every division of racing, whether it's sports car racing, whether it's IndyCar racing, whether it's Formula One, NASCAR, all of the guys want to come here because they all want to win that Rolex watch. A, a GT3 Cup car is, is you know, the most regularly produced race-ready car on the planet. Uh, these things, we, we drive them all over the world, but I'd say there's a really heavy subscription of them here at the Rolex 24. And Porsche, I think we have the first four cars on the grid, which is, uh, which is really, really good. I hope in the race, the start of the race, that we can all work together and, and um, you know, try and help each other out a little bit until it gets towards the end and then we'll really start racing. There's so much stuff that goes on in a 24-hour race. Um, you, you've got to have a good car, you've got to have a good crew. You have to have a little bit of luck on your side, and Porsche has proven that uh, if you want to win on a consistent basis, you got to be driving a Porsche.